Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Who News. I'm Robin Lyons. And I'm Lucy Kerwin. Our top stories today include a new world record for the fastest orange peeling was set by Amanda Wren. And could this be the next Christmas number one? Fridge will be here in the studio talking us through his latest single. But first, here is the story of a young Salford University graduate who, despite all the odds, was able to win the National Lottery jackpot in the most bizarre way. Johnny Hobo, who describes himself as a self-made millionaire superstar, claims that despite his enormous wealth, he is going to remain down-to-earth and humble. We met with him earlier for the full story. After university, I found it very difficult to find work and it got to a stage where it was so bad as I was kicked out of my house. Um, I had no money, um, no roof over my head and I was begging. I was begging on the streets and one day um, this bloke gave me something rather extraordinary. Um, I thought he just threw rubbish at me but uh, I looked a little bit closer and he'd given me a lottery ticket. So. I went to the nearest shop and um, I was surprised that someone would give me a lottery ticket um, that was in date and could have been a winner so without hesitation I went inside. When I got to the um, counter in this shop the lady said that I'd won um, a multi-million pound jackpot. All the numbers were correct, so I was over the moon. It was um, probably one of the best feelings I've ever felt. Um, the best day of my life, definitely. Well, our next story is quite an unusual one. That's right. Just two days ago, a woman from Jacksonville, USA, broke the world record for peeling oranges. That's right. Amanda Rin, a primary school teacher, managed to peel 12 oranges in one minute, which smashed the old record of nine oranges. Wow, that is impressive. But did you know that orange is actually a type of berry? And after chocolate and vanilla, orange is the world's favourite flavour. And there are also over 35 million oranges, orange trees in Spain. That's very interesting. Here's one for you. How do you tell the difference between a walrus and an orange? I don't know. How do you? Put it in, in your hand and squeeze it. If you don't get juice, then it's walrus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, we sent Chuck down to Jacksonville yesterday to meet Amanda and ask her about the record. Here's the footage, so check this out. This is Amanda Rin a 23-year-old circus performer based in Jacksonville, USA. Amanda has a very peculiar talent that struck our news show as something the world had to hear about. You might wonder why Who News has flown a reporter all the way out to the United States. Regular viewers will understand our budget usually doesn't stretch to such extravagance. However, every last penny of Who News money has been spent trying to meet the woman on your screen. She currently holds the Guinness World Record for being the world's fastest orange peeler, able to peel 12 oranges in just one minute. She managed to find time in her busy schedule to talk to me about her achievement. The following interview is a Who News World exclusive. So first off, Amanda, how did you get into orange peeling? Well, I was raised on my family's farm where they grew all types of fruit, from apples to pears to bananas and, of course, oranges. I was an only child and life sometimes got a little bit boring, so I used to play with the fruit as a pastime. Peeling oranges was my best trait. Wow, that's really interesting. So how did you get the chance to break the world record? Well, before I got into teaching, I was part of a travelling circus. Growing up on the farm, I picked up all kinds of tricks with the fruits, like juggling them and balancing them on my body. We were part from Texas at the time, and I seen this event where they hold world records. And I went back down a few days later, and that's where it happened. So it's just by chance that you even attempted the record. Wow. Has it affected your life in any way? Kind of. When I go back home, people recognise me. Some people want me to take pictures with them, and some even want me to sign their oranges. It's kind of strange, but I don't mind the attention. And finally, do you have any other plans to break any other records? Not yet. Like I said, I just stumbled across it by accident. But I'll certainly keep a lookout. <gasps> back to the studio.
Thanks, Chuck. Fascinating story. There are some crazy records out there, but do you think you could beat it? I reckon I could. I'm not going to lie. I think 12 oranges sounds easy peasy. I could do it with my eyes closed. Well, it's a good job you said that because we have some oranges right here. Can we get 30 seconds on the clock, please? Okay, bring it on. Okay, time's up. Let's see how many oranges you got through. You got through nearly one. You did fairly well, I suppose. Have you done this before and how did you find it? Um, clearly not. It's so messy and it's actually a lot more difficult than it looks. I think that you should do it next time. Yeah, well, we'll see, I suppose. Go and put those on the fridge and clean yourself up. Which brings us to our next story. Yes, it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. We have singer, songwriter and superstar Fridge on the show. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. So your latest single has reached the the most downloads on iTunes ever. The song's called Ding Dong Bing Bang Bong. Now, how has that make made you feel? Uh, phenomenal. It's brilliant. It's uh, something I've always wanted to achieve. Is it a song that's close to your heart? Yeah, definitely. The title means a lot to me, personally. Yeah, where did the title come from itself? Well, it was... We, we were going to put drums on it, and we didn't put drums on it, so we thought, rather than putting drums on it, we'll put drums in the title. So it's a more of a percussive title. So it's quite, it's, yeah, it's yeah. revolutionary. But it has another meaning, but I, you know, I don't want to discuss that. Sort of onomatopoeia at its finest, yeah, yeah, I definitely. suppose. You'd know that being a singer-songwriter. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so the you were actually signed by Dizzy Rascal, was it? He spotted you on YouTube? Yeah, well, H from Steps produced the album. Okay. So... He put us in touch with Dizzy Rascal and, um, yeah, just come out. But, like, see, Rick Rubin wanted to produce it, but H was the man, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's got the skills when it comes to stuff like that. So. What, what, yeah, what what made him so so different to everyone else you've worked with? Yeah. He just didn't stop. He never gave up, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Thank yeah, you yeah. very much for being with us. You're going to perform for us now. I'll let you go and set up. All right. Thank thanks very much, Chef. So, um, over to you, Lucy. Thanks for that interview. That was very interesting. And now, I think we should go back over to him because I'm very intrigued to see this song. Ding dang, bing bang bong. <laughs> 